Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Shreddy and welcome to my new channel. This is going to be my variety gaming channel. So I'm glad you guys stopped by if you're here uh, because you know who I am from my Pokemon Go channel. Thank you so much for coming by. Or if you're brand new, thank you so much. Just the same. Uh, you guys are really awesome for coming to check this video out. So I'm not exactly sure what kind of content I want to be putting out here. I know I want to be playing video games, obviously, but I'm going to try it for a couple different things. And I've already played this game. We're going to be playing Lakeview Valley today. I already played it for a little while. Uh, but I wasn't really happy with what I got. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again. But make it, you know, I'm going to be funny YouTube man this time. And I'm going to make you go, <laughs> that's kind of funny. And then, and then you'll subscribe and then hit like and then throw a comment. And then, uh, <laughs> right? Please don't leave. Okay, anyway, so let's take a peek. So I bet you guys are wondering, hey, Shrady, why are you always wearing those headphones around your neck? Well, the time has come to don the headphones. These are actually a part of my body. I can't really fully ever take them off. That's why they're always around my neck. But uh, I do get to use them and I can plug them in like normal headphones would be. Uh, it's a weird body thing that... Don't judge me, okay? Let's make our character. What is... Uh... Oh yeah, okay. Uh, titties. Titties and a danger, dang wanger, and then uh, a little VJ, and then nothing at all. We're gonna go with uh, totally genderless. Eleven minutes later. Okay, I think we've got what we're looking for here. Okay, Snout McGrout. That's our boy. This is our boy, Snout McGrout. Let's see what kind of adventures old Snout gets into. Now uh, he was born a pig, but don't judge him for that. Okay, it wasn't his fault. His mother was a pig, okay? You okay back there? He haven't said a word this whole time we've been driving. Trouble with love, maybe? Hey, kid, I know all about that. Heh, <laughs> the stories I can tell. I remember this one broad, pretty as meat pie. I used to drive her for a father. Nice man until someone gave him booze. Me? Never had a problem with alcohol. At least not while there was any left. Ha 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 ha. Oh, he said. Oh. And I think that's where the story ends. Old Snout McGrout, he lived a great life. Uh, he was born, and then he got on a bus, and then he died. And it was just a... It was a massacre. It was an absolute massacre. 45 people died that day, and that's the end of the game. Pretty sure, anyway. I don't know. Oh, no, he's fine. He's fine. He doesn't have pants on. He literally just has his little top, and then his... You know, he doesn't have a dangler or anything like that, but if he did, it would be dangling. That's for goddamn sure. Okay, there's a dead person here. Oh, she's not dead. The blood flies! The blood flies! Now she's dead. Okay. Good to know. All right. Well, uh, oops. Yep, sorry about that. Excuse me. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. I'm going to take this because I feel like this is going to come in handy. Hey, listen here, you son of a bitch. I was gonna kill that broad, and now you took my kill from me. And now it's time to die. Oh god, it's a little harder to kill people than I thought it would be. Okay. Okay, he's still chasing me, I want him to chase me. Come over here, come get me buddy. Okay. All right. This hammer sucks. This is the worst hammer that has ever been invented. One hour later. Oh, he's dead. Okay, yes, we got him. We got him. All right. Make sure. Can I take his face? I want his face. Give me your fucking face, you son of a bitch. Okay, I can't get his face. All right, well, that's fine. I'm a little bit bloody, and there's my blood all over the place, and uh, I'm bleeding from everywhere it seems okay that's fine no worries though who's this poor girl poor girl you look like a decent person so let me give you a piece of advice don't trust the town folk dude i don't trust anybody you didn't did you not see me murder the bus driver just a second ago i should probably do something with this guy's body but i could just pretend oh you know what 
He died. He died in the bus crash. Obviously. Look, there's blood everywhere. It was definitely the bus crash. It was not me. Uh, I'm gonna go and uh, leave now. You smell good. I'm coming back for you. Oh, there's the sheriff. Oh god, okay, you! Stop right there! I knew you looked familiar. You must be the new owner of that house up north. Glad to finally meet you. Oh, okay, good. Why don't you come into my office and sort out the paperwork and get your key? Follow me. Key's on the table. Just walk right up to it. We'll look over the papers then. Okay. Alright, so I murdered somebody. Got a free house. It's a good. Per it's a pretty good day for old uh, Snout McGrout. I see you got the key already. Now where did I leave those papers? How about we skip the papers for now? I'll bring them to you tomorrow so you can get settled in. Just head north of the lake until you find a giant gate. You can't miss it. I'll be seeing you. Is the doctor back yet? The doctor's not back. Okay, you know what? Let's take the hammer for now. Probably go dump it in the lake. It's probably the, the best place for it. For fuck's sake, Ivan, she's stuck. We can't leave her like this. It's the cow complaining. She... Plenty of grass for her to eat. You tell the sheriff this ain't right. You're welcome to try and move her yourself. I don't know what accents I'm doing for these people. Fuck you, Ivan. You don't have a bad hip. Okay, I fixed the webcam. Sorry about that. No trespassing. Can't you see the traffic cones? We'll get the cow on Wednesday. Don't worry, kid. I can just kill it. Moo. You know... One of these days, they're going to be able to move this cow. Because <laughs> it's a cow, and it. <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> it's, a, it's a joke, because cows, they say moo. <laughs> and I said moo. Okay, moving on to something else now. Where am I going? Um, okay. I'm assuming the house that I own is the one covered in flies. Probably. It just seems... Yeah, probably. Probably, that's how this game usually goes. Watch why you step, kid. There's snakes around. I don't know why his voice is like that. Fast, fellas. They attack in the blink of an eye. Him bite you. No shit, Sherlock. Yep. One hit can be deadly around here. In many ways. Name's George, by the way. If you ever need some fishing supplies, come visit my shop. I had to be okay. Sure thing, but I'll kill you later. Look, there's a snake there. I bet I could kill him. Okay. Oh, oh. This hammer sucks. Jesus Christ. Okay, let's uh, let's run away. I am now poisoned and probably dying, bleeding all over the place. But you know what? Old Snout McGrout, he's been through worse. I bet I can get that apple, huh? There you go, kid. Gosh darn it, you're strong! I don't know why the kid sounds like an old woman, but hey, whatever. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna take this. Because I don't want you to have anything. But I do want my popularity to be... There's a popularity thing in this game where... If you do favors for citizens, then you, uh, you get extra money. Alright, let's go to sleep. All right, get that off. Good. Too early. Okay, good. I thought that was, uh, all right. Well, I already got my clothes off, so, you know, I'm going to eat that. Oh. Hello. Um, okay. That is, uh... That's on my property. Alrighty then, uh, let's uh, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? What the hell is this? You know what? I gotta get rid of that hammer. Alright, let me get this. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Okay, Snout McRout. What's your plan, buddy? Uh, to get rid of the hammer, that is... Just running around with a murder weapon here. Let's uh, let's get rid of this. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right. So now I I am still dying, by the way. Hi, you look new. My name's Luann. I run the furniture shop in town. You should come by and visit my shop someday. You never know what you find. Furniture, I'm assuming. Frank doesn't like the people from outside the valley. Frank 
has some trust issues. Not to mention the bad temper and a shotgun. I think he's a danger to the valley. That weapon should be taken from him. It's not a bad idea, Recycle Boy. You seem like a much more balanced person to wield a shotgun. Just saying. Clearly, I'm just running around in the nude, poisoned by a snake. Oh, there he is. Do not come any closer, you filthy tourist. This is private property. Unless you want me to spread your guts all over the road, I'll do it, goddammit. Another day we will meet. Again with this. What what is this for? I don't understand. Oh. The owner came home. And uh <coughs> I don't think we've met. My name is Stuart. I run the Lake Mart. Oh. Uh hi. That's right. You better be intimidated by me, you son of a bitch. I'm gonna shit anywhere I want. Okay, so, we are still dying. But, uh, like I said, old Snell on the ground, he's been through worse. He's been through much worse than a couple of snake bites and a couple of, you know, bleeding head wounds. I heard Rebecca is looking for her cat. It's kind of sad, really. You didn't hear this from me, but she doesn't even have a home. How would she be able to take care of a cat if she can't even take care of herself? Who knows what she would do to the cat if you returned it to her? Did you know serial killers usually start out by practicing on little animals? Think about that. Look, buddy. I don't need practice. Hi, I'm Rebecca. Have you seen my cat? Yellow fur? Loves fish? Oh, I'm so worried. Please let me know if you see her. Will do, bitch. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Another thing to mention about this game that I found out the hard way is that nighttime is not... You don't want to be out at nighttime. It's, uh, it gets bad. It gets scary. Okay, we can get healed up. Here we go. Hi, my name's Dawn, and I'm the doctor here. You ever hurt yourself, and I'll help you. So, do you want something me to take back to the dirty deck? I don't know what he was saying. I'm just gonna just ramble. Wounds healed. No open wounds, but you seem to have lost some blood. Let's fix you right up. Thank you. I'm taking this with me, bitch. So, uh, apparently nobody cares if you're naked. I, I hadn't never walked around naked before in this game, but, uh, I think it's gonna become a habit. I'm gonna go home. Um, I think I can, I think there's a shortcut. I don't know if it's a good idea, but... This is probably a really bad idea, actually. So apparently this guy, uh, he, he doesn't know how to swim. He was just born with metal shins. So anytime he goes in water, he just sinks to the bottom. Not always. Sometimes his metal shins don't work like that. Ow. Okay, there's wonderful, wonderful creatures down here. Good to remember that. Um, and somehow, I can get out before dying. I saw a rock. Wow, that's... Sweet. Okay, can I... Can I... Am I about to live? Am I living? Or is this dying? Am I, am I feeling death right now? I can hear the death noise. I hear the death noise. I'm gonna die, aren't I? I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm gonna die. Come on. Oh, no. Get out of here, you stupid fuck crab. Ah, uh, shit. Where am I going? I don't know where I am. I'm dead. I found a sauna rock. Did you hear that? I found a sauna rock while that murder crab was, was uh, you know, fucking my dead body. So anyway, I guess let's go continue because I didn't kill anybody. I didn't die in the middle of like murdering somebody. You know. Now the sheriff is probably gonna find out. Okay, here we go. Give me the details, Dawn. I had to dig deep into our blood reserves, but Snout McGrout will pull through. So what exactly happened? You know, I have to write a report on this. Write all the wounds down as self-inflicted. And why the hell is Snout McGrout naked? <laughs> Who knows what goes on on a pervert's head? Or in a pervert's head. I mean, he's not really wrong. I kind of jumped into the lake bed and it, I, was, I was asking to die there. Okay, here we go. Goddamn, Reggie. This is a real mess. Victim is Amy Cooper. Or at least someone who looks a lot like Amy Cooper 
since I just saw her at the diner. Oh, that's the same that's the same girl that we saw at the diner. Yeah, it's like her doppelganger apparently. Twin sister, plastic surgery. I have to investigate some more. If Reggie had just washed the road, she might be alive and be able to tell us where she came from. Who did he say he was talking to? Oh yes. Snout McGrout. Hmm. Huh. I wonder if our plan is already ruined. Seeing this kind of violence right from the beginning, it could influence Snout McGrout. I'll have to keep this one a secret from the villagers. Tell Reggie I found nothing. End of report. Let's just hope this death is the last one. Something tells me, with old Snout McGrout being around here, not the last death. Not even close. No, Snout likes murder. Uh, he just, he sniffs it, you know? He smells the murder with his pig nose, and then, uh, oh, there he is, okay. Midnight. Damn. Let's see what we have here. The victim is good old Reggie. Is that first name good old, second name Reggie? It seems the killing blow was made by a blunt object. The victim has some skin under their nails, probably from fighting back. Nobody reported any suspicious behavior. Nothing? Literally nothing. No one reported anything. Not me running around naked, bleeding half to death with snake bites all over my naked body. No one reported that. Nothing. Sorry, it's, it's a little bit odd that no one said anything about that. Okay. In conclusion, I'll have to check on these leads and see what I can find. End of report. I'm getting closer to catching you. I can feel it. Sure thing, bud. You don't even know who I was until today. And now it's tomorrow. So you failed. All right. I think that's where we're going to call it for today. Uh, I do have plenty more footage from my experience with uh, controlling Snout McGrout. Uh, I think it gets uh, a lot more bloodlusty in the next episode. So if you're looking forward to seeing part two, let me know down in the comments. Uh, and like I said earlier, let me know what kind of games you'd like me to play. Uh, if you want me to finish this game, I can definitely do that. This game is super fun and like very, very strange, which fits my, you know, I love that shit. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Take it easy. What happens if I... Oh shit. Thank you for the weapon. I saw you took care of my yard. I guess you're here for a reward. Time to choose. Will you consent to intercourse with Martha? The kid, the kid is literally right here. Okay. Oh, oh, come on. Jesus Christ. Okay, he's having fun. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just cut until after this is over. I don't need to worry about this guy. I don't think he's a, harming anybody. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. Shout out to my patrons Running Froggy, DJ Mimsy, Grizzinator, Northstar7620, Clapton Caveman, Moach, NZ Tech Freak, Silver N Fortuna, Austin Gustavic, Cleric, Mr. Cookout, Brandon, Darkstone, Joseph Cahill, Lana Pierce, Owen Jones, Zaplatinsky, Dennis McFalls, and Robert Zuccarelli. Thank you guys so much.